All right, let's go see if Trevor's home. We see he drove the razor to work today. Hello, hello. Hi. Where's the man? There he's hiding, hiding. Working and hiding. Look at these rims. Oh, those look sharp. Face bus. Yeah, they are really nice. Very nice. Beadlock, well, hey, too. Good, buddy. How are you doing? Good. good to see you. We were just uh, eyeballing the old Razor, and I just thought, you know what, Trev? We should go outside, and you should kind of take us a little run around it. Yeah. Let people know what you got done to it. That's a 900, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What year is that one? It's a 15. 15, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, you want to do that? Sure. You got a couple minutes? Yeah, of course. Pull away? Of course. Right on, right on. Love it. How's the drive down? Not too bad, actually. The old Google took us through the back roads, and uh, really? yeah, if I stay off the 401, I find I'm not too bad on gas. Right around 80, oh, yeah. 90, and it's really not that bad. Yeah. But the low gearing, once I hit the 401 trip, mm -hmm. 110 to 120, it just drinks. Yeah. So I, I think don't they know. all do. Lens trucks the same. It's bad as I eyeballing your pipes. He likes to look at those. Yeah. yeah. Dual RJs. Yeah. That's just a slip on. Yeah, that's yeah. a slip on. Unfortunately, there's no full for the 900. There's okay. a full exhaust for the 1000. Okay. Um, but She's yeah. lifted too, right? Yeah, so we've got the, the three inch or two inch, I guess they call it, high lifter lift. Um, it went in about a year after we got the bike. Um, we ride the we ride roads and stuff all winter long, so it's everything gets a little bit rusted yeah the salt yeah um one thing that we found when we did the elkas this year the shock points were in the wrong position the mounting points so did you yep. you drilled the holes then and remounted yeah, so, yeah. Uh, we went back and uh, got those fixed up uh, learned some interesting stuff at elka last week about just the angle of the shocks right so we're, we're probably going to end up having to revalve the shocks because um, where they, the suspension used to sit down like this on a deeper angle. Yes. Now because it sits straight up, it travels a lot more okay. as the wheel okay. moves. So, um, so they were telling me that I may have to look at changing things up a little bit there, which is good. Um, we put the Extreme HDs in it this year. Um, the Demon axles. axles. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. We hadn't had any issues. Um, but we just seem to push the bike a little bit harder every year and the last thing I want is to break an axle Yeah, so uh, just uh, because it's a lot of machine to tow out Premeditative upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and then the snorkels you did all the snorkel work snorkels yeah. I did myself that was um, I wanted them done a very specific way um, Because I wanted to make sure that I kept all my mounting points for my hooks and stuff open is that all three inch trev yeah it's yeah. all three inch. okay yeah um and the way this kit's set up is i can take it right apart um out in the bush yeah so if i have to get into the clutch and stuff it's pretty easy to get to um this year um because we did doing the wrap we went to the dragon fire doors because they're flat so it made the wrap easy oh to so this is a whole different door yeah okay oh yeah, yeah aluminum, a lot aluminum skin is it yeah yeah it's a lot nicer door it's a lot nicer setup i never really liked the look of the aluminum doors before yep but with after having them on they sit up a little bit higher they protect you a little bit more from rocks and stuff use they have their own mechanism you don't reuse any polaris's there so you reuse the polaris you do mechanism, that's the polaris it's mechanism to, it's mounted to a different point i actually like that so it's, it's beefy it's a better position okay yeah it's a little better uh closure than what you're getting on the x3 for sure yep yeah and then of course for new boots this year um we did the intimidators and uh, the dual beadlock itps 32 by 10 by 14 all yeah. the way around folks yeah, yeah. Uh, we've run the 32s um we've never done any clutching or anything on it and the polaris clutches seem to be really good uh seem to handle the weight um, with no problem yeah from what i see the boys don't have too much issue either i mean nope. they they tweak them a little bit but it's not like swapping out a full primary or anything like that so yeah come yeah. pretty good stock you're happy with your 28s on oh, there yes. eh? Love them. it's ripping yeah. yeah and then we did the i've always had the super atv forward offset a arms uh, and, uh this year because we were changing the color scheme up and i've thought about going to um, a kit for the front sway bar on this okay the new uh, a arms have the mount mounting for the point for the front sway bar, sway bar right here. So eh? I decided rather than powder coat and weld that we would just get new ones. Okay, so they're not providing any of your lift in the front. There's a bracket, yeah, right here. No, exactly. Yeah, okay. So there's another bracket up front. We 
again, it just moves the shock point. So yep. it does make the ride, um, makes the, the ride not quite where we want it. Would you say it made the lift again? Was it a high lifter? Or? It's a high lifter. It's a high lifter lift. bracket yeah, lift. I think okay. they call it two to five inch Okay, lift. yeah. Um, we have never adjusted the suspension, the shock travel, yep. um, to get more lift out of it. So we run about 16 to 18 inches of clearance, depending on where it's sitting. and. Who did your wrap, Trev? Because it turned out really good, man. So the company that actually prints the wrap is uh, utvgraphics.com. Okay. And they just sent us, they were awesome to deal with. And what they did was they sent us proofs of what it was going to look like. And it took about two days once we um, gave them the go ahead. And then we got it in the mail. And then it was just um, my kids and myself and lots of patients putting it on <laughs> yeah you applied it eh? yeah yeah that would have been a pain in the ass but it looks great turned out Thanks. worth yeah, the work we're really man. happy with how it turned out um, yeah it really obviously changes the whole look of the razor if you know what it looked like before now windshields i remember we were talking about windshields when we were down at the kimpex conference mm -hmm. and which route did you take with the windshield so this is the windshield the front window is still the polaris stock window um and i really like it it's been good i like the glass uh, what we'll do when we were talking to the guy at the Kimpex show from Direction 2 is for that back window. So the second right, half of this right. season, so the, the first half of our season was getting the front ready, redoing the diff, um, upgrading the sprag carrier and the diff, armature plate, all those things were done so that I didn't break any more diffs because I've had enough of that. <laughs> and um, we did the heavy duty super ATV rads um, up front as well. Suspension, of course, all the way around. So we really looked and front axles were extreme HDs again from Demon. And we did all of that work um, because the bike's got 10,000 kilometers on it. It was time to just give a little bit of... Yeah, real serious TLC and get in yeah. there and make sure it's good for another 10,000 kilometers. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then, so then what we'll do, the second half of the season, we'll be taking the back of the bike and doing some work back here. And it will be um, going out, um, you know, redoing, I think I want to do the raked arms on the back yep. as well. Yep, and get some more, even more clearance, eh? Yeah, yeah. And so in the back, we'll, it'll, it'll get all the, all the extra work this fall. And I think we're looking at an OEM roof as well, guys. There's yeah. the Polaris badge right there. Yeah. So OEM windshield, OEM roof. Uh, it's got a light bar up there. I'm sure that's aftermarket, eh, Trev? Uh, it's Pro Armor from Polaris. Oh, okay. Yep. All right on. So through your Polaris dealer. Yeah. Not too bad. Yep. Or just jump on the old dirtylight.ca. I'm sure we got some light bars. Yeah, eh? I think that I would change, I would change <laughs> now. I think I would like to try the Quake LEDs. Yeah. Um, they've always had good reviews and stuff. Um, we did Pro Armor really before I was into the side by side too much. And I knew where to get all the aftermarket stuff, which is, of course, why we started Dirty Light in the first place. That's right. Um, so now that I've seen some more of the aftermarket stuff, there there's some really nice product out there that well we just like to try. What about interior-wise? Any uh, storage bags or anything you've no, got added in? No, not anything um, inside too much. The RJWC shifter is about the extent of it right now. Have you um, uh, thought of maybe giving our friend Grant a call and getting some red in place of the blue? Yeah. Because he um, could probably do that super easy for you. Yes, yes, Grant, you should do that for us. <laughs> <laughs> Grant. Grant's awesome. Grant is fantastic. Yeah, man, he's um, done so much work for so, all of us boys. Yeah, we're probably going to do something like that. Um, or we may, one of the things that I've read on the forums and stuff is that the, when people have changed the seats from the stock seats, they've yeah. been really, really happy with the upgrade. Yeah. So Yeah, I'm noticing I, actually right now, Trev, that the snow four point harness even no, holes in these seats. Again, and that'll all be part of you know what we do over time is going to the four point harness i've really I'll thought do about doing that in the x3 and probably should have done that yeah. and even if we don't do that i almost feel like in the giveaway almost reaching out and getting a set and giving it away with the machine if yeah. somebody wants to install them because i honestly am a firm believer that if you're ripping these side by sides as hard as we are we should have done it um and we should still do it but uh safety first eh? and yeah. these things rip they rip well, what, hard so what we found with the razor and the reason we'll go to the four point is that the, the bike twists and turns so much and you get going back you slide in your seat and you actually lynn and i hit our heads sometimes oh wow yeah she's going one yeah. direction i'm going the other way yeah. with our helmet i think the four point harnesses would keep us locked in a absolutely bit better absolutely you just can't control all of that yeah yeah all that movement rjwc fuel cap i oh, see we got the polaris again we got oem here these rock yeah. sliders are wicked i think yeah, uh cody really grabbed like those 
Cody grabbed them on his machine when he first got it, yeah. and uh, yeah. they're killer. They they they're because they're not extending the machine at all, right? You're not losing any of that side clearance or anything, but you're yeah. gaining all the protection. I think they're a great add-on, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, Clutch-wise, you're just still you said stock running. Yeah, still running stock. Yeah. Um, um, I've talked to Adam at QSC about doing the clutch kit for the back. Again, we do run heavy tires, um, but I actually think I may step away from the Intimidators and go to a lighter tire. We may actually try that Moto Havoc. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then, and actually, the Moto Claws that you saw in there, uh, so we can do some trail riding. Yeah. On, and rather than try to do a uh, intermediate tire, is actually go to two sets. One that's good for the mud when we're going to do our mud runs, and then those days where we want to do 130 kilometers. Absolutely. Of rail trail Absolutely. Yeah, for you know, some of us, uh, it, we're kind of getting to the point now where we're uh, myself even trying to hold on to a couple sets of tires instead of getting rid of them, just so you have the option to yeah. to say, you know what, today is going to be a long day. I'm going to take the uh, the yeah. comfortable route on these tires. So well, we know how great the assassinators work in the mud. Absolutely. We also know how Absolutely. Terrible they are on roads. On and roads and trails and a long 80k day. Yeah. Absolutely, and it is. It is. There's yeah. no doubt about it. They ride great for a mud tire. There's no doubt. Yeah. But. And then you can um, yeah. And keep a mud tire on the bead locks and then have just a regular standard rim and uh, and a nice trail tire. Yep. I think that's what we're gonna do. Right on, right yeah. on. You yeah. don't have a, a rear bumper, Trev. No rear We've bumper protecting that pipe. We've never had one. Um, so the way that the 900s come is actually come with a plastic skirt that comes all the way down. Just like the X3, yeah, yeah. And I cut it off because I like the look of the RJ. Just seeing the pipes, the yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, looks great. Yeah, she's a project, that yeah. one. You flash this one? This one's This flash. one's got a flash. Yep. And Is we're that working it? on developing it further with MapTune right now. The idea being with the, the 900S, uh, they're actually detuned. Yeah. So they run a pretty low horsepower, um, and it's one of the biggest horsepower gains you can get in a naturally aspirated engine is this particular one. Um, because with the pipe, we can take this from the stock, which was, I think, 78 horse or maybe 75, and run it all the way up to 96 horse. Well, that's a huge jump, a huge yeah. gain, so uh, yeah. well worth it. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I keep meaning to get around this machine for you guys on the trail, and every time I see Trevor, we're just... We're always in the heat of it and, and nobody wants to stop or we don't think about it and we just continue on with the day and at the end of the day I always realize you know what I didn't get a walk around Troy's bike today I didn't get a walk around of of Trevor's uh side by side today the Razor and uh so I thought it'd be something we should just get out of the way um I see that you do you've got them off obviously for the summertime you got a soft canvas yeah I know so so the canvas will probably come off yeah um longer term it's it's a little bit right worn well right you can now, see it's been used because it was actually the uppers for the door is sewn in here okay and we changed the doors it changed the angle it used to cut down further okay and so now the upper doesn't fit anymore so it's off and this is just left until we can get it repaired yeah. and get it to fit the new yeah. doors but yeah yeah what about a wiper? You ever thought of a wiper, Trev? Is there a thought need? Thought about it a lot. So there is a need uh, yeah, for it then, yeah? Yeah, absolutely there is. There's. Uh, I keep seeing guys, like the, the whole windshield thing, it's like I'm out there and I get it in the face and the camera, I'm like, oh, I want a windshield. Yeah. But then I see guys, a lot of guys, when they get the windshields, then they realize that without the wiper and everything, it, it, it's almost stop cleaning the windshield, I can't see, so. Yeah, it's you not know. too bad if you use the rain -X. Um, yeah. So we keep Rain X yeah. on it, yeah. and then because as soon as the water hits it, it washes it yeah. off. And if it does get mid, get muddy, we hit another mud hole yeah. and or another water hole, and we just coat the window and it washes all the mud off. Usually good to go, eh? Yeah. So you did a little LED lights, eBay type of deal. Uh, they're far mudding. They are far mudding. Yeah, yeah. right the on. Blue ones for the old color. Yeah. And I haven't got a hold of Fred for red ones yet. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, what kind of winch you use, Trev? It's the it's the standard standard that comes in pro it. armor, yeah. Yep. Yeah. They have forty five hundred pound. Yes. That okay. Forty five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. With the synthetic line, and I've got to change the rope on it. It's pretty worn and tattered. Yeah, I need to do the same on the Renegade. Actually, I just uh, haven't gotten around to putting it on, yeah. but uh, small things. But uh, no, it looks really good, man. It looks Thanks. really good. Functional. We were just thinking maybe we should unload the X three. You got a trail somewhere around here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, right behind us. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it does. I know Taylor would love to go for a ride. Well, I know Spaz has been dying to check it yeah. out too, so yeah, we could take a, take a couple did, yeah. a couple yeah, laps for go. sure. Right on. Well, there's a brain bucket in the cab of the race. We brought there. one. We brought oh, an extra one too. Yep. They're all good then. Yep. 
Or you got dirty life. You just buy one off the shelf. We got everything you need. So you know, I'm down. Yeah, right on, Trevor. Yeah. It looks awesome, man. Thanks. Just killer. Sure makes you want to go ripping, doesn't it? Yeah, let's unload that thing. <laughs> right on, folks.